Hi guys, today I'm going to look at giant steps for a complete beginner or somebody perhaps coming from rock music or somebody who's perhaps found this quite difficult to play or is looking to find a way that's quite simple to play it. These examples that I'm giving are not the most eloquent or the most artistic or anything kind of colourful or chromatic but what they are um, they consist of a basic way of playing through these changes using very simple guitar fingering. In some cases with these examples one scale will cover two or three chords. Through these examples I will be counting one and two and three and four and. Now that's very very basic but it tells you where you are in the bar, what beat you're on and what chord you're playing over. When you have that down then you can elaborate or syncopate or change the rhythm. But to begin with, you need to count one and two and three and four and so that you can hear where you are in the chord changes as they pass. To begin with, we have B major seven, go to D seven, go to G major seven, go into B flat seven, go into E flat major seven. So for this first chord, I will play B major pentatonic. Now for the next two chords, I'm just going to follow a simple fingering, these two fingers. So this scale will be this. Now for the B flat chord, I'm just going to play this up a semitone. And land on the note D as the major seventh of E flat major seven. So it will be this. So I'm counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Next chord comes in. So we have A minor 7, D7, G major 7, B flat 7, E flat major 7, F sharp 7, resolving to B major 7. Through this I will again use a simple fingering bit of scale. You could call this A Dorian, but I'm really thinking of simple fingering and using the F sharp because it's the third of D. Okay, so we have this. This bit of scale is covering three chords and I'm counting one and two and three and four and one and two and... Take this up a semitone. Three and four and... And now to the E flat. One and two and now to F sharp three and four and and what you have here is an F sharp seven arpeggio. So we have what you'll realise here is that we've run out of fingers. So I mean you can't go that way and you can't go that way because giant steps is happening so quickly. There's no time for that. So what I'm going to do is play E flat minor arpeggio. So we have, and then this finger comes into play because it just falls into place to play the E flat minor arpeggio. Okay, so when we put this together, we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two Next chord. In this example, I'm going to use simple pentatonics again. So we have F minor 7, B flat 7, E flat major 7. So we have 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 
Ideally, for the B-flat 7, you would want the major pentatonic. But, because the fingering works so fluently, it's okay to use this minor third, because the minor third is the blue note. So it works okay over the B-flat 7. Next we go to the part which we did earlier and we rest on the note B, the third of G, for the G major 7. So, so this part of the phrase will be like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, next chord. For the next two bars, again, I'm going to use simple pentatonics. So we have C sharp minor going to F sharp 7 and landing on the third of B, the D sharp. So the resolution is easy. In this last part, I'm going to play F minor 9 arpeggio, followed by C minor pentatonic. So we have... Now we take the C minor pentatonic scale up a semitone to C sharp minor, and then finish with F sharp pentatonic, which will land on the F sharp note the tonic of F sharp and the fifth of B. So it will be like this. So we have Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, click the notification button, write a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.